So what makes the tar so special? Let me take you through one or two of the features. First of all, like most Swazi garments, it's good and long. Vented sides, okay, so again, that just means that when you're moving, you've got a lot more movement. And then a waist cord here that you can pull in and cinch it in because you don't want that wind and rain coming up underneath. What a lot of people tend to forget is in really heavy rain, it just doesn't come down, it comes up. It bounces off things and comes up. So that's why I like a garment that's going to keep the bottom half of my body good and dry as well. Good long sleeves and a cuff system which is Velcroed, so that's nice and snug in there, but also an internal cuff, okay? So the internal cuff is just an added feature. It'll just stop that water running up your arms. Love these pockets, okay? Two great big pockets, they're zippered, They've got a dome closure and they go right across, okay? So I can stick my hands in here. If I'm just waiting while I'm glassing, I'll keep them nice and snug. I can put a roaring horn in here. I can put a bunch of gear in here as well. There's a lot of capacity in these pockets. A good long zip, okay? So again, these zips all come right down so that when you're getting really hot, you can vent, okay? It's breathable. But if you're pushing hard uphill, give your body a bit of assistance and undo the zip. So you've got the, the waterproof zip and a Velcro closure that comes across. Now here's one of the features that I absolutely love on the Tar XP and I think it's world class and that's the hood. Comes with a wire in the brim and then a foam inside the peak. Okay, so you've got all the protection, lots of peripheral vision and it's good and snug.